In this section, we will explore protein supersecondary structures and motifs. Supersecondary structure is usually composed of two secondary structures linked together by a turn. Simple supersecondary structures include the beta hairpin beta structure, which are characterized by a sharp hairpin turn that does not disrupt the hydrogen bonding of two beta pleated sheet structures, the helix turn helix structures, and the alpha-alpha corners. Beta strands tend to have a tendency to twist in the right-hand direction to help minimize conformational energy. This leads to the formation of interesting structures, such as twists or saddles, as well as beta barrels. Structural motifs can serve particular functions within proteins, such as enabling the binding of substrates and cofactors. For example, the Rossmann fold is responsible for binding to nucleotide cofactors, such as nicotinamide adenine dinucleotide, or NAD. The yellow arrows indicate beta pleated sheets, and the red tubes are alpha helical structures. Tim barrels, as shown on this slide, are considered alpha beta protein folds because they include an alternating pattern of beta pleated sheet and alpha helical structures. In a tim barrel, the helices and strands, usually eight of each, form a solenoid structure that curves around to close in on itself in a donut shape, topologically known as a toroid. Tim barrels are one of the most common protein folds. One of the most intriguing features among the members of this class of proteins is although they exhibit the same tertiary fold, is that there's very little sequence similarity between them. At least 15 distinct enzyme families use this framework to generate the appropriate active site geometry. This is an example of convergent evolution, where unrelated sequences converge on the same structural motif. In the next section, we will see how secondary and supersecondary structures come together to form tertiary and potentially quaternary protein structure.